so what we got here is a three terabyte st3000 dm001 drive i personally had a few of these die on me i bought i bought a bunch on boxing day a few years back and that was it for me now <laughs> that was the last uh, seagate I, I bought for personal use uh this is actually belongs to a buddy of mine uh, he's a local guy that uh is uh an amazing uh car detailer so um he detailed my cars so many times um honestly it's like pretty much the only place i take my car to get detailed and when he told me about this hard drive that it died um i just kind of felt obligated to uh help a brother out so uh this is what i'm doing here tonight as one of the tasks that i'm working on uh obviously it's, it's just too many things going on uh so let me um uh bring you in on what's going on with this device and why i'm going to be doing what i'm doing today this drive on its own powers up fine i feel like i can't see myself on its own powers up fine uh, the only issue is, is that it actually um, uh, got some, you know, documents and, and important stuff on there that I already pulled. Uh, but one of the um, uh, six heads in there is reading really, really, really slow. It was good enough uh, to get the uh, documents because those don't take up too much space uh, on the drive. But he's also got like a collection of movies on there that uh, took him years to um, uh, gather up and record and I just didn't want he didn't want to let him go I it's okay I'll hook him up um, but obviously not with the original headset because uh, that driver is pretty much topped off like uh, three terabytes full so the plan is to uh, find a three terabyte unit that is compatible and uh, just to get that one head that is really, really slow, we're gonna do the head swap. Long story short, the preamp has different variations. Preamp types are different for different hard drives and uh, none of the information here really indicates which preamp is used on the inside. So uh, because this drive was fortunate enough to give us some access, uh, well, not some, but majority of access, uh, like five out of six heads is great on its own but the drive initializes on its own and the terminal would read and uh, I pulled the um, uh, information directly from the terminal by hitting ctrl L command and this is a CC06 preamp type and I'm gonna find a donor for one of those Granada drives that matches preamp and hopefully matches up the label fairly close to what it is two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, lucky 13 is the uh, amount of boxes. Uh, some of these filled all the way to the back, some of these filled halfway. Um, let's just say 10, 10, uh, 10 hard drives a, a box, roughly a piece. 13, that's 130 <laughs> Granada drives sitting and waiting. And I um, went over and actually um, uh, boxed them up by first three number, first three digits of the serial. So Z1F, the odd numbers, uh, W1F, W1F, WW1F. So this one is Z1F0. Uh, we can probably get to uh, as close as four digits, no problem, with the amount of Z1Fs I got here. Let's start searching. Two hours later. Okay, you gotta see this. <laughs> so the drive that I... I I had hopes for that it's gonna be compatible donor. Just check this damn thing out. The heads are literally ground themselves out to a halt. They don't even extend to the parking ramp anymore. If the if the client came in to my shop and was like, "Can you recover the data from this?" <laughs> Look at this. Woo. <laughs> that's, that's literally the data right there. <coughs> Let me vacuum this stuff up. And ooh, poor guy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo the uh, PCB now, so uh, that we have access to the uh, 
screw that keeps the head assembly in place and uh, the donor is currently um, undergoing the backup process so I just want to make sure I got all the resources for it uh, just in case the parts don't um, get accepted so easily and we have to uh, do a little bit of modifications using the adaptive data from uh, the patient so it's always be to be ready for that while the donor is still in functional state and can operate uh, directly through ATA commands as opposed to terminal because terminal may take a while <coughs> um, it's probably done by now but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start disassembling our patient and getting things prepared so as long as these Grenadas are not uh, grinding themselves up, most of the time they're pretty pleasant to work with. You know, we're starting to see less of them as they're slowly getting out of the usage circle. Uh, newer models are coming out. These, um, these models are aging. This is a 2013, so the drive had a pretty good run considering its age. Most of them did not make it that far you know, but this one did. What I just did, I just imported the head adaptives uh, from the patient, from the donor's ROM into the uh, patient, and I'm gonna start up the drive, and hopefully it comes ready, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to read some. It comes ready, um, but how about the reading? After importing the adaptives. The speed seems to be running good. Looks like head one is good. <laughs> and looks like this drive is reading. If you're in the same situation where your drive is not working and you need your data back, check out this description box. All our contact info is there. I hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to hit like if you did. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below. 
Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and the notification button will notify you next time video drops. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.